I think Eastquake is a good reminder how important it is to learn the geology of the area that you live in. Learn what natural disasters have happened before and could happen in the future and just have a general knowledge to keep you and your family safe in the event of any sort of natural disaster. Eastquake is my team's submission into this year's ECCE app challenge. So it's a collection of a series of story maps and then two apps, the Vulnerability app and the Near Me app. And Eastquake is aimed to increase awareness about earthquakes in Eastern Canada. ECCE stands for Esri Canada Centers of Excellence, and it is an app challenge that they put on every year for universities and colleges across Canada to compete in. So students create groups of two or three, and then the groups have one week to create a new and unique app using open spatial data and Esri technology. The ECC app challenge basically promotes the use of various types of Esri applications. So for this case, it would be like web app builder or developer for those students that decide to use it. And this is a one week challenge. So that means like during this one week, not only are we making our apps, but we're also making like a video pitch for it. We're giving our source codes for it and any other documentation that might be needed. It's an amazing opportunity. The 2022 app challenge team for this year was natural disasters and emergency preparedness. For our app, you can basically see it in the term East Quake. Um, our natural disaster of choice was earthquakes, and this was more focusing towards like the Eastern Ontario community, um, and more because we know that a lot of earthquakes are common in Western Canada, and we're just basically trying to um, kind of promote the fact that because we're in Eastern Canada, it doesn't mean that we're in no risk, but it just means that we're in a lower risk. For this year's app challenge, we actually presented two applications, Eastquake Near You and Eastquake Vulnerability. Eastquake Near You focuses more in terms of like the proximity to earthquakes and the risk that you are, while Eastquake Vulnerability actually considers the multi-criteria decision analysis um, while using factors and accounting for social, environmental, and physical factors. So I specifically work on the Vulnerability app, which employs a multi-criteria decision analysis of the city of Hamilton to find out which regions are most at risk to earthquakes. So we use data such as the infrastructure, the locations of fire stations, as well as hospitals, as well as the material at the bedrock of Hamilton, as well as the soil type to highlight the different risks associated with living in the different neighborhoods of Hamilton. And we actually chose the city of Hamilton specifically because our campus is there, we're more familiar with the area, so it created that sense of familiarity, but in the same time, it's something that could actually expand on to have it sent to different types of cities as well. I think the biggest challenge with this competition in general is coming up with a good idea and committing to it. We originally wanted to do some sort of building ranking for earthquake safety in Eastern Canada to target the sub-theme of infrastructure that the um, app challenge provided but a few days in we realized the data just wasn't available for that you have to use open source data so i would say that coming up with the idea and having to adjust it as you search for data was the hardest part working on the vulnerability app the biggest challenge was finding the data from different places and making sure it was reliable and the most up-to-date data we could possibly use for our app so ideally we would like eastern canadians to be prepared for any emergency that may strike the region you're living in Emergency preparedness was the theme of the ECC app challenge and that's what we would really like Eastern Canadians to take out of this challenge and hopefully this contributes to creating safer communities all across Canada. Yeah.